Oh, what's up, guys? This is Ashley Gillard coming forward with the Twin Fetty message for the collective. Today is August 24th. When I date my readings, it's the date that I did it, the date that I read the energy. It doesn't mean that it's going to be the date that you resonate with it. It could be something that happened in the past and Spirit is giving you information or insight into the situation or a different perspective. Or it could be something that's going to happen in the near future that Spirit wants you to work with them to manifest. Or it could just be advice or energy that you need to hear to help you advance in your life in some way shape or form this reading was brought to you today by who i was gonna say my trademark but i'm not letting that information out yet maybe tomorrow brought to you by my book the personification of beauty it is on amazon i highly recommend it for women mothers sisters aunts friends best friends women who need advice anyone who likes to read um, okay, very interesting story. Um, let me give you a quick message about Leo season before I begin though. Leo season has been very challenging for us. And though it's now Virgo season as it pertains to astrology and, and zodiac, it's Mercury is still in Leo. Mercury is a planet for communication. Mercury is a planet for... Um, technology but mercury is also connected to the magician so it's the planet for manifestation as well so when mercury is still in leo you still have the opportunity to gain clarity of who you are to create to align yourself with the person that you would like to be or the desires of your heart or your true self again leo is the month of re rediscovering um the path to your inner strength, your creativity and originality that is uniquely you. It is also a tie to opportunity. So when it retrograded in Leo, when Mercury retrograded in Leo, it seems like it, it gave us the false illusion that those opportunities were taken away from us or that things were changed around um, negatively. But really what happened is it stripped us of things that was keeping us from our inner strength, keeping us from our purpose and creativity and aligning us with our true selves. So when it went back forward and we had the shadow period, now we have five days left of Mercury and Leo to reattune to our uh, and creativity, our true selves, what makes us uniquely us, our attractiveness and love on ourselves and nurture ourselves and nurture our projects and creativity um, for the remaining five days of Mercury being in Leo to take advantage of this energy. I just had to say that really quickly because, you know, I put that post on my Instagram page. Some of you aren't uh, following me on Instagram. If you're not following me, my name is Ashley Gillard at Ashley Gillard on Instagram. But yeah, so we have five days to create. <sighs> try to create. I'm gonna. I'm going to try to create as much as I can. You know, sometimes we procrastinate, and I've been working on my numerology course, uh, my spirit communication course, uh, for a while now. But I want to complete it during this energy in Mercury and Leo, so that you know it could be used as a tool to connect me with my higher self, to connect me with my audience, to connect and attract me to the desires of my heart and, and, and manifest it. So anyway, um, the overall energy of this reading, we have Cloak of Wisdom and the Ten of Swords and the Four of Swords. This is ending cycles and entering new phases by being strategic. And we have the Holy Spirit right under there, Ace of Pentacles under there, Expect Miracles. Oh my goodness. Guys, this is beautiful. I just pulled these cards up. I use sometimes I read and then record, but I'm reading and recording at the same time, so I'm seeing this at the same time. But we have cloak of wisdom, four of swords, and ten of swords. Use the masculine using his mind to manifest a different face of life with the feminine or bring it all together. Then we have the Holy Spirit, the Ace of Pentacles, and a judgment right under there. All three of these cards is about unexpected blessings, unexpected opportunities, receiving from the universe in exponential levels, high levels, miraculous levels. So expect a miracle. But the masculine is getting his mind together or his or her mind together to manifest this miracle, to manifest this connection with this new phase of life with the feminine and new beginnings with the feminine. Clarify next by the Shekinah. The Shekinah is the sacred self. Unleash your gift. But the Shekinah is the manifested. The Shekinah is divine feminine manifested. Um, I was just, when I started this reading, I, I felt like I wasn't in the right energy. And sometimes when I'm not in the right energy, I, I attune to Kabbalah Center, or Kabbalah, however you say it, Center. And I listen to the messages. It calms my ego. It, it helps me to understand, you know, the rid myself of the ego. 
So some stuff I was, you know, dealing with negative energy yesterday and, and allowing others negative energy to, you know, impact me and my own. So sometimes I had to reattune to the Kabbalah, Kabbalah and um, learn, you know, just listen. You know, I already know these things, but sometimes you need reassurance to get you back on track. But anyway, Shekinah is connected to Kabbalah. But anyway, it's the manifested version of divine feminine. So what I'm getting from this is the feminine is on the masculine's mind heavy. The masculine is thinking of ways strategically to come together with the feminine. We have the hangman clarified by seven of swords, page of cups, and the eight of wands. Page of swords, seven of cups, sorry, page of cups, eight of wands, seven of swords. Seven of swords is not deception in this case, it's strategy. Thinking of a strategic way to come together with the feminine quickly. How can I get her? Maybe he's watching these readings and, you know, a lot of my readings, the feminine says no. So he's thinking of a strategy that you can't refuse. The masculine is saying, you know, I understand that this situation is complicated. How can I change the ending? How can I get a yes from the feminine? How can I get her to say yes very quickly? I'm ready for her now. Or, you know, I'm saying her, but I'm ready for this feminine now. How can I come together as a partner? What strategy is best for the situation that's win-win for both of us, for all of us? Then we have the Hierophant clarifying that. The Hierophant clarified by the Queen of Swords, the Ten of Cups, and the Empress. Come on, babies. I'll call my cards my babies. Ten of Cups, the Empress, and the Queen of Swords. This is the offer. This is clarity of thought. Coming together, using your mind to come with a creative way to come together with the feminine to be happy. For fulfillment, for happiness, for union. How can I come together? How can I come with a clear decision? How can I come with a clear strategic plan to come together with the feminine? He's being creative. He's thinking of creative ways to get you. He's thinking of what can bring us together. The energy is quickly changing. I've noticed Leo season, I'm telling you, Leo season has an impact on us. Yeah, it, it took things back, but it's going to manifest. Things are going to manifest very quickly. The Eight of Wands came out in this reading twice. The last reading I think I did, it came out twice too. Things are going to manifest quickly. And the masculine is being very strategic about it. How can I come together with this feminine for a happy, fulfilling life? Creating a plan to come together very quickly. An offer that the feminine cannot refuse. How can I do it? Then we have the eight of wands. Showing up in a reading again. Eight of wands. How can I do this quickly? How can I come together quickly? Eight of wands, six of cups, three of cups. How can I offer? And, you know, six of cups, I always I feel like soulmate energy. You know, twin flame soulmate energy. Mostly soulmate, but... Um, you know, it could be twin flame labels. I'm not worried about labels right now. But how can I come forward with an offer that cannot be refused, but that brings us to the, together quickly? I'm ready to celebrate. I'm ready to enjoy this this man or woman that I was supposed to be with. I'm ready to enjoy the feminine. You know, he or she makes him happy. He or she happy. I'm sorry with these gender references, but the feminine makes the masculine happy. Hell, and so that's why he's trying to come up with a plan to bring you two together quickly that you can refuse because he's ready. Then we have an interesting, um, this is interesting. We have the Ten of Wands, clarified by the Fool and the Emperor. Ooh. Sometimes we look at taking a leap of faith as a burden because when you take a leap of faith, that means you're, you're risking something. You're leaving something behind and it's, sometimes it can feel like a burden when it's not. Oh, let me tell you a quick story. My friend's daughter, she is a military kid and she was, they tried to, she went through so much to be able to run for student council. She was transferred into the school district because her parents, you know, was PCS orders for the military relocated. 
And so that last year they had a, you can't run because you just came into the school. And then this year they tried to come up with something else telling her she couldn't run for senior class president. She just wanted to be great. So anyway, long story short, eventually she was able to run because it's, it was literally the law. You cannot prevent military kids from running, from participating in activities because they relocated. But they told her, in order for you to run for senior class president, you have to let go of your current senior council position, student council position. So she risked losing everything in order to get the desires of her heart. And she won. And in fact, no one ran, ran against her. So the position was hers the whole time. This is the energy I'm getting here. I said all this to say, the position is yours the whole time. It feels like a leap of faith. It feels like you're leaving something behind. It feels like a burden. But the position is yours the whole time. The masculine, the feminine is yours the whole time. The feminine, the masculine, your partner has been your part. It's yours, already yours. He or she is already yours. It feels like burden. It feels like you're leaving something behind. It feels like a risk, but it's not because he or she is already yours. So if you resonate that as the masculine or if you resonate that as the feminine, talk. You know, you resonate as it, however it pertains to you. But he or she is already yours. Then we have the Five of Cups. Again, attuning to what I just said, clarified by the Five of Wands and the Two of Wands. A lot of passion. Five of Wands and Two of Wands. Why do I look bigger today? This is, yeah, I can't wait to go back to the gym today. I'll be working out heavy. Um, again, not being in the right perspective. Not attuning to the right frame of thought. See, it's like strategy here. How can I bring us two together? I had to stop the video. I started coughing. The sage got it. Got it under. I'm a little high off sage right now. I don't know why. But. Sorry, guys. Anyway. Over here is strategy. How can I come forward with a creative plan, strategic plan to bring us together for fulfillment, to bring my family together, to bring the masculine and the feminine together and celebrate and happiness and, you know, to get in the place that he would like to be in with the feminine right now. Then here it's like taking a leap of faith, carrying the burden. Um, but the energy changes. I'm getting very singular energy here. One day these readings are going to be, you know, at the end, both are going to come together. But I'm still getting singular energy here. I'm still getting feminine focused on herself, focused on her work, focused on building, focused on fulfillment in herself. I'm still getting this energy here. Um, and I'm getting a feeling of here. It's like a missed opportunity, conflicted missed opportunity to build with the feminine. But... This could be the energy of the masculine as well. This could be the, the worries of the masculine. That's what it is. That's what it is. That's why it was this message of faith here. Because Spirit is saying have faith because he's worried that he has a missed opportunity with the feminine. The masculine is worried that he has a missed opportunity with the feminine because she's so focused on herself and building herself and her work, her businesses, her brands, her her company, whatever it is, the feminist focus building herself, building herself, and he's feeling like I missed the opportunity with her, but it's gonna take a leap of faith for him to pursue this plan to come together with the feminine. That's why I got that message of it's already yours. That's why that story came to mind. Because what looks like a missed opportunity is not. It's really not, you know? It's the feminine is already yours, masculine. You just have to take that leap of faith and do what you have to do. Come with your creative strategic plans to bring you two together. You want it to happen really quickly. And I guess you're in the energetic flow of the universe because when retrograde, sometimes they pull us, it's like an arrow shot forward. 
So have faith. Have faith. What's yours is already yours. Yeah, the feminine is in this energy of building herself and she's grounding herself and manifesting and building her life up. But don't let that worry you. Maybe, you know, don't let that scare you off. What's yours is yours. She's this beautiful creature or the feminine is this beautiful person building her life and has a lot going on for herself. That doesn't mean that you miss the opportunity because if somebody loves you, they love you. When somebody wants to be with you, they want to be with you. If, if she recognizes you as her divine partner, it's going to take a lot, 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 lot to not want that. Even if she's building herself and focused on herself right now or the feminine is focused on him or herself. That doesn't mean that eventually, that doesn't mean that she won't give you the opportunity. You have to take that leap of faith. Remember the story. She took the leap of faith. She risked it all. And it was really, it was laid in her hands. It was literally already hers. No one competed against her because they couldn't. It was hers. So maybe that's the message for today. Masculine have faith masculine put this plan together do whatever you got to do to come forth with the strategic plan to bring you two together have faith and don't let go of this negative energy let go of this energy of loss let go of this energy of lack let go of this energy of a missed opportunity and focus on bringing you two together because the feminine is building herself but you add to the vision you don't take away from it. You add to the feminine's life. You add value to the vision. You are a valuable person and you deserve you deserve to be with someone who adds value to you and especially that you add value to. Interesting, interesting, interesting um, feminine. So the masculine is thinking of a master plan to bring you two together and it's going to require him to take a leap of faith. So it depends on how faithful, how much faith your masculine has, whether or not he's going to come forward with this plan. My audience is mostly women. So when I use these gender terms, you know, I apologize. I know that I have a couple, a few men, male subscribers or watchers, but mostly I have women. So if I'm using incorrect gender terminology, apply it as it resonates. Use, you know, if I say him and it's really her, you know, use the one that resonates with you. It's different for different people. So, yeah. But anyway, very good um, energy here. Let go of this negative energy. Focus on the positive. Focus on coming together and fulfillment and desire that you two bring to each other's hearts. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate every one of you. I'm almost to 300 subscribers. Um, that may sound like a small amount, and it did sound like a small amount to me, but I'm still grateful for one, two, three likes, one, two, three views, one, two, three subscribers. I'm, I'm grateful for all of you, and I'm not going to remain in a negative energy that this, you know opposing forces want me to be in. If I'm fighting negative energy, I must fight it with positive and gratefulness and gracefulness. And Spirit told me to be grateful. So therefore, I am grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you for your subscribes. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your ears. Thank you for your eyes. And when I say eyes, your eye. Thank you for breaking bread with me. I wish you love. I wish you light and more light. Come to the edge, he said. We might fall, they said. Come to the edge, he said. It's too high, they said. Come to the edge, he said. They came, he pushed them, and they flew.